feel like I've just woken up in a weird sort of fantasy world. Strangely relaxing. Hey everybody! Welcome on in. My name's Katana. Thank you for being here. If you're watching later on YouTube, I appreciate it. If you're watching live, say hi in the chat. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, so, ordinarily I'd be playing Spiritfarer, which I've been playing all week. Uh, but, as you can see, this isn't Spirit Fair. This is something a little bit special. Uh, next week, uh, hold on, let me check my notes. <clears throat> uh, it is June Steam Next Fest. Don't say that very, very fast, 10 times over when you're drunk. St June Steam Next Fest is next week. And as part of that, Wild Flowers, which is an Australian made game, uh, but the lovely people at Studio Dry Dock, uh, are going to be releasing their demo on PC. Now, because I'm such an amazing person, a little bit, uh, they've allowed me to play the demo early. So you get to enjoy that with me tonight, uh, and maybe later some Spirit Fair. we'll see. Um, but you'll be able to get access to this very same demo next week, uh, so keep an eye out for that. Very big thanks to Studio Dry Dog for giving me access to the game tonight. It's uh, kind of exciting, actually. I heard about it a uh, long, long time ago. Uh, you can also play this right now if you have Apple Arcade uh, on iOS, so by all means. Uh, but it'll be coming out on PC and Switch very, very soon. Um, and it's Australian made, so I mean, that's perfect for me. Anyone who knows me knows I, I'm a very big fan of indie games. I'm also a big fan of Australian made indie games. So this is right up my alley. Now, having said that, uh, I don't really know what I'm in for. I've seen footage. I've seen other people play it a little bit. It feels kind of like if it were Animal Crossing, but um, more believable in a way. Huge amount of voice acting. You'll be able to hear that shortly. Um, but I'm excited. I, I, I tried not to see too much because I just want to be able to go in and discover as much as I can for myself. But uh, this should be fun, honestly. And if you enjoy any of this, whether it's on Twitch right now or YouTube later, keep an eye out for the demo on PC uh, next week, which is, uh, I think it's June 13th to the 18th? Somewhere around there. Keep an eye out on Steam anyway. You'll see it next week. Uh, and if you have access to Apple Arcade, you can play it right now. So anyway, with that being said, again, big thanks Studio Dry Dock for giving me access. Let's jump in. And see what this demo is all about. I don't know how long it's going to be. Uh, hour or two, maybe? Maybe. Also, you might notice uh, I have been changing the angle of my camera. Ew. Normally it's over that way somewhere. Now it's over this way somewhere. Uh, I'm trying to reduce the glare in my glasses as much as possible. I might need contact lenses because, oh boy, glare. Anyway, wildflowers, let's do it. I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I'm going to enjoy this. Okay, new game. Straight on in. Oh, hello. That's the Australian Institute. They're in Melbourne, by the way. Shout out to Melbourne. Going there next, very soon for PAX. Welcome to Fairhaven Town, where a guy is very, very excited about something there. I have no idea why. This is cute already, though. Oh god, look at that guy. It's the Monopoly man when he's in his 30s. He hasn't quite discovered the mo yet. Oh, he's got a little lamb! And a prawn, apparently. And his little birds. And a kitty! Give me the kitty. Now I'm playing this with keyboard and mouse, so I think I should be okay with that. And this is me, apparently. Or at least my character. If this was actually me, I'd be impressed. What do you guys think? Would it look good in a red dress? I don't know. I don't know. Excuse me. Would you happen to know the way to Hazel Wilde's farm? Tara? Oh my goodness, it really is you, isn't it? It's Tara. Lena? I haven't seen you since I was tiny. 
It's good to see you again. I heard you were coming to stay with your grandma Hazel. Now, do you remember the way? Nope. <laughs> uh, no. I don't remember much from that time. Yep. No problem. Go up the stairs behind me and turn left at the top. Then just follow your nose till you get to Hazel's house. Go up the stairs behind you, then turn left and follow the path. Follow the nose? What? what? Okay. All right. So, up the stairs. Okay, good. So, the WISD keys definitely work. Hi. You look pretty cool. I love your hair. Uh, turn left. Follow my nose. Now, I want to know how far I have to go with my... No, I'm going, we're going this way. All right, this is where I'm supposed to go. All right, good. Hazel Wilds Farm. This is cute. Oh, it's got a little pond. <gasps> Fish. This is very pretty. Oh, there she is. Title card. In case you've already forgotten. Wildflowers. What are the flowers are? We'll soon find out. Oh no. If I've learned anything from Legend of Zelda, that it's probably not a good thing. <gasps> Hello. <laughs> All right, I like her. <laughs> if only everything was that easy. Oh, it's you. Oh, my little honeybee. <laughs> I'm not so little anymore, Grandma. True. That's true. I suppose not. I'm so glad you've come. Me too. How can I help out around here? I don't know much about farming, but maybe you can show me the ropes. Uh, well, oh, now that you mention it, show me the magic. I haven't got the spring crop of potatoes in yet. Okay, that'll do. Grandma, why don't you give me those seeds and I can get them planted? That's a good idea. That would be a good start. Here's the seeds. Thank you. Just head over to one of the garden beds there and and scatter them about all right from bud to spud plant the potato seed in the garden bed by the farm what if i what if i want to do this one no i should do this one i should do this one let's put it in here potato seed do i have to drag it no i just have to click it plant these potato seeds in the garden bed and wait five days for them to mature Do potatoes normally grow in five days? I feel like that's longer. Anyway, video games. Hey! Well, that was easy. You're natural. <laughs> you know, you need to water them you want them to grow. Oh, that watering can has seen better days. Alright. Watering can. Get some water in there, and away you go. This is really simple, though. It's not like Stardew Valley where you have to be very, very accurate with it. Do it. It'll take a few days to grow, but it's a start. Oh, and I was thinking about cooking up some mushrooms. How would you like mushroom soup for dinner? Mm. I do like mushroom soup. One you used to make when I was little, because if it is, yes. Please. <laughs> Lovely. You'll find plenty of mushrooms good for eating if you head up that mountain path a little. Wait, All right. Pick the mushrooms ourselves? <laughs> no, this isn't the city, honeybee. Besides, freshly picked mushrooms. <laughs> this isn't the better. city. Yeah, if they're not the kind that poison you, you'll do just fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my best. Is there anything else I can do for you? Well, if you wanted to get some new seeds in town, it might be a good time to stop by and see the mayor. Introduce yourself. He's at Town Hall. Okay. A big building in the center of town with a flag above the door. 
You can't miss it. Fair enough. Take good care of you and this farm, Grandma. I'm just so glad you're here, my sweet little honeybee. All right, here I am, farming. <laughs> this place has changed so much. It'll take a lot of work to get back to how I remember. I don't know if city life has prepared me for this, but I'm ready to give it my best. Cool. So I gotta get mushrooms. And I've got potatoes going. Ooh, what's this? Oh, right. Okay, so I can actually add on to the garden bed, make a composite, a compost, composite? Compost bin. I'll get it right in a minute. I cannot take the axe. Okay. What's over here? Oh. You know, I don't think I've been in here since your grandpa died. Oh, so that's in the fields. Looking around, like you said. I didn't mean to pry. Yeah, I, I honestly was just looking. Sorry. Just wasn't as good with my hands as he was. He gave most of his tools to Thomas, since I knew he'd put them to good use. If we want to get this place up and running, though, we'll need to put in the work here, too. He always made a whole lot more money from his crafts than just the farm produce alone. If you ever want to try your hand at it, Ooh. I kept the blueprints to all his tools right here. Ooh, crafting. Thanks, Grandma. Not sure if I'm a handy para, but... I'll try for us. I I would love to make stuff. What have we got? Paper press, candle maker, juice press, fermentation barrel. Okay. How do you make them? Okay, so you need wood. Use your axe. All right, well, I need to get an axe. I know where there is an axe. I don't know if I can use said axe, but there is one right here. Hold on. Can I pick it up? No, all right, we can't do that yet. All right, never mind. Uh, well, let's go. Hold on. Journal. Uh, wait for your potatoes to plant. Produce potatoes. Grandma's asked for mushrooms. I'm going to make something tasty. Do I show the hint? Nah. Nah. nah I can figure it out. We can figure it out. There's bound to be mushrooms around here somewhere. Let's have a look around, shall we? There's a little butterfly. Ooh, hello. What's all this? It feels like if Stardew Valley had uh, a more elaborate story, I got some wood. Yeah, but that's an old house, that's for sure. Ooh, there's a bell. <gasps> I said house! Ooh, it's a couple of them. I see you found the barn. Oh, it was a barn. Okay. I went looking for it, but I, I wasn't sure. <laughs> Remember the time I milked Bessie and she kicked over the milk bucket? I hid in the barn because I thought you would be mad. <laughs> <laughs> no use crying over spilled milk or a barn that got thrown down in a storm, I suppose. I had to give up keeping cattle. So does that That's a shame. This is... Yeah, the chicken coop. Oh, it's a chicken coop. After Merlin passed, I didn't have a dog to guard the chickens. Oh, Merlin the dog. Getting picked off. I chopped up the coop for firewood. Oh. That's a shame. Do you think we could restore them? Oh, I'm sure we could. But after that old ranch closed up, the nearest place to get more animals is miles away uh, if mayor otto would bestir himself to do something about that oh, no. fixing up these buildings would be light work for parker what a name mayor otto can you pick up that thing no okay all right so you're probably heading to town then yeah they've got a lay of the land around here let's go this way It's nice. I love the colors, the atmosphere. It's just really colorful. Your hair is amazing. So why do all these characters have amazing hair? How do they get it? And where can I find it, please? And thank you. Okay. 
That's just more houses. What do we got? Oh, here's the mayor. Oh, look at that. Wise flag choice, I'd say. I already like this mayor. Hopefully, I mean, it's a mayor, so the likelihood is you're probably not necessarily going to like him. But still, worst things have happened. Oh, hello. Welcome. The chair's a little small. Welcome. I oh, there he is. Auto Soft. Auto soft. <laughs> a new voter. I mean, neighbor. Uh -huh. I, uh, yes, that's, that's me. If there is anything you need, I'm the one to speak to. We're a friendly town here at Fairhaven. We want to make sure you're settled in well. To that end, we want you to meet everyone, so we've made it a little game. All right. The fine Fairhaven folk will let me know after they've met you. Cool. That way, I can give you a prize <gasps> after you've met everyone. Prize is really quite clever and progressive. <laughs> Plus, a little bit creepy. Yeah, true. <laughs> you're funny. Anyway, you see me after you've met everyone. <laughs> Oh no. 22 people in this place. Okay. Well, let's uh, go from left to right, shall we? She should uh, start from the bottom. Hold on. Work my way up. He's, uh, he's going to be down here. Ooh. Cocktail bar? Cure for what ails you. Okay. Is it open yet? No, it's not open yet. Alright, that's okay. Wait, when what time is it open? Uh, hold on, what day is it? It is Monday. 6 p.m. Alright, I've got four hours. Noted. What's in here? Oh, it's closed on Monday. Ooh, Kim. Oh, cool. Kim's local butcher and deli. That looks cool. Here we go now. Oh, hello. Your shirt is amazing. Hey, Damon. This is granddaughter, yeah? Yep. How did you guess? You got the same eyes. They oh. say, I'm beautiful, but I don't suffer fools. All right, easy, Damon. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> I run the bar. Stop by for good vibes. Oh, the he's years. the bar owner. Yeah, thanks. Awesome. Oh, hey, Bruno. Damon, I want to settle up for last night. Sorry I didn't have it on me at the time. <laughs> That's all right. I knew you were good for it, but, uh, <laughs> thanks. Fish just haven't been biting lately, but I got Otto to float me for a week. <sighs> I wish you hadn't told me that. Your son already has it out for me, Bruno. That's <laughs> not so. He's just a teetotaler, it's all. And who's your new friend here? Guten Tag. You're Hazel's granddaughter, Guten Tag. Yes. Are you German? And also psychic? <laughs> I'm Bruno. Don't actually speak much of my native tongue, but I try to keep up some traditions. And you're just the picture. Bruno is German. She was a girl. Actually, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, she was a real spitfire back then too. Hasn't changed much. I see you met Damon. Tara, watch out for this boy. He's trouble. Hey, I'm trying to make a good first impression here. Do you mind? <laughs> All right. Well, I like both of those guys so far. Although he was a little on. Steady on now. Bruno's cool though. Oh, hello. Hi, I'm Kim. Hey, Kim. Hey, Kim. I'm Tara. I just moved here from the city. Oh, so what sent you screaming from the city? Dead end job, sociopaths on dating apps. Both. Oh, I can choose. Uh, the job, the dating scene, a little of both. Yep. To be honest, <laughs> everything in my life kind of fell apart all at once. Yeah. The city is really a buffet of hot garbage, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I know that shouldn't make me hungry, but it does. <laughs> I run the butcher. We only sell humanely treated animal products. I respect that. Right now, I have to source the meat from off island, but we'll hopefully get a new rancher to move here soon. Cool. Nice to meet you. I read that as rancor. I am a Star Wars nerd. All right. Nice to meet you, Kim. Uh, let us go over into the supermarket. Hey! Oh, God, there's a few people in here. There you are. Oh, and Tara, too. Wonderful. Oh, I already Tara, met you. This is my husband, Parker. Hi there. Hey, Parker. Tara, I can't wait to buy your fresh crops. And if you need seeds, I can sell you whatever's in season. Appreciate it. 
Oh, Parker, we need to talk about the kids. They were giggling over breakfast, so I searched Finn's backpack and found a whoopee cushion in there. <laughs> Again. <laughs> I, I mean, that's... that's <laughs> See, okay, I like Parker the already. Right there. You think it's funny, and I have to be mommy cop. <laughs> I'm taking this seriously, really. Okay, whatever. You can be the one to go to the next parent-teacher conference. I'm tired of getting stared down by Vanessa. <laughs> I, love, I love the dialogue of this game already. It's refreshing to have dialogue in a video game where it feels natural. And it feels like it's a believable sort of... It's not just written on the page and someone reads it. Like, it's actually sort of flows. Not very many video games get that right. And I'm a sucker for good dialogue. Alright, now, you have seeds. Uh, I don't think I have any... Oh, I have to... I do have money. Okay. Uh, do you have any mushrooms? Uh, let's see. You got flour, you got egg, you got potato, green bean, rice, cabbage, corn, onion, pumpkin seeds. I do like some pumpkin. Sweet potato seeds. I love sweet potato. Strawberry seeds. No, uh, no mushroom. Surprisingly little mushroom. That's disappointing. But it's alright, we can find it somewhere. Hello. Oh! My mom said I should make an effort to make you feel welcome in town or whatever. Whatever. So, um, hi, I guess. <laughs> I'm Juliet. Oh, look, I appreciate the effort, Juliet. It's nice to meet you. Okay, bye. <laughs> good job, good job. Uh, oh, there's someone else. Hi. Welcome. I am Vanessa Soft, First Lady of Fairhaven. Ah, okay. Pleasure to meet you. How yep. is your grandmother doing? She's, well, to be honest, she's not doing too well. That's why I'm here. It's wonderful that you came to help her out. Do let me know if there is any way I can help. Noted. Thank you. I still have so many people to meet. <gasps> Ice cream bar. When are you open? Oh, it's closing on Monday. I mean, Sophia's around somewhere. Also, there's a chemist. I like the fact that everything's closed on a Monday. It means that they have long weekends. Kitty! Hi. <gasps> I can pet you? Come here. Oh, I can pet the kitty! Oh, he's purring! Alright, that made me happy. Now, if that had come up as saying it was a, it was a, <laughs> a member of the, of the place, that would have been funny. Oh, okay. This is a... This is like a little church setup. League of the Conscious Mind. Interesting. Is that open? No, it's not. That looks interesting. Oh, the sun's going down. Oh, that's a graveyard. Hopefully there's no ghosts. That would be bad. And this is... Okay, that must be like the mayor's house or something. Super fancy. Oh, yep, there he is. That's definitely his home. Right, let's go back up the stairs. <gasps> Kitty! I will own you and hug you and kiss you and I will call you Charlie. Don't ask me why. I just made that up. Hi! <gasps> oh, hello. Oh my gosh, you've got to be Tara! Yep! Hazel's been hyping you up for weeks now. Oh, that's wow. cool. Now I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Don't be. It's sweet. I wish I had a grandma here to talk about how great I am. Anyway, I'm Violet. Pleased to meet you, Violet. That name makes sense. New faces around here in Fairhaven, so let me know if you ever want to hang out. Uh, I think I will, Violet. I think I will. All right. Uh, what did, wait, did you, you, I didn't talk to you last hey, time. I'm Tara. Oh, that's awkward. Oh, you speak French? <laughs> well, no, I speak Francis French. is now talking to a bell. Bienvenido to our little seaside pueblo. Gracias. That was a little awkward. Oh, look, I'm halfway through. That's a good end to the first night being here, but I feel like I've got to find mushrooms somewhere first. Hold on, map. I feel like they're probably up on that top left. You can't see where my mouse cursor is right now, but I'm wavering up the top left of the map. That's probably where the mushrooms are, and or the top right. It's probably around there somewhere. 
time. Let's go home. It's getting late. It is eight o'clock. Hey, Grandma. Uh, so bad news. I uh, haven't found mushrooms yet. Good news. I've made 11 new friends. That's pretty cool. So uh, uh, what's for dinner? Because, you know, we've got potatoes. So do you, hold on. Do you have anything in the fridge? I can't check in the fridge. Can you open the fridge for me, please? Oh, I have to... Oh, okay. I guess I could keep... Do I have to go to bed? No, it's not... Click on the... Oh, I do! Okay, well, I'm going to do that. Am I ready for bed? Yep. Let's just... Lessons learned. Don't go out night to find mushrooms. Look, there's one! <gasps> there's two! Oh, hello. What are you up to? Oh my god, look at that mask. It's like something from Destiny 2. That looks cool. I want one. Uh-oh. Raven. Okay. Ooh. I like a little mystery. Hey, it's Tuesday, everybody. And apparently I slept in my clothes as a silly little human I was. But that's okay. Don't forget to water those potatoes every day. Thank you, Grandma. I'll go and do that now. Do I have water? I do have water. Okay, good. Excellent. Now, mushrooms. Let's find those. I'm taking a stab in the dark and saying that might be up this way. Could be wrong. Hey, I remembered this mine. It looked way less run down when I was seven. But so did everything around here. Ooh. I get a funny feeling you'll be able to go into this mine soon. There's some mushrooms. Boop. And I need two. Excellent. Job did. Ah, uh, Grandma, I found the mushrooms. At least I sure hope that the mushrooms you're looking for. What does my journal say? Alright, this is reminding me. I appreciate that. Look what I found for you. Oh, mushrooms! Spring is the time when the earth reawakens. You can forage for the gifts the land offers up if you know where to look. Nice. Have you found any mushrooms? I have. I found two of them. Will these work? Those are nice, plump ones. You're a natural forager. Excellent. When I was out searching, I came across that old mine. You used to tell me that there were goblins inside. Remember? <laughs> I told you that, did I? <laughs> it was a, a smart way of keeping a curious little girl out of danger. The wood in the supports rotted clean through. Shame. I'm sure there's still perfectly good iron and copper down there. Hint, hint. Back tomorrow and I'll have the mushroom stew prepared. I'm a bit tired just now. Alright. No worries, Grandma. I will wait for you as long as you need me to. Which means the potatoes have more time to grow. Okay. Let's head back to the village. And see who else I can meet. It is Tuesday, so some of the other stores will be open now. Oh, let's talk to this person first. Hi. Uh, hello there. Nice to see a new face around here. Hi. I'm Hazel Wilde's granddaughter, Tara. Oh, Hazel was so kind to me when I first moved here. Used to let me cut through a property to get to the old mine. Of course, that was before the supports in the entrance gave out. There's still good ore down there, I suspect. Yep. Or, oh, sorry. I didn't introduce myself. I'm Natalia, and I own the blacksmith. I can melt down ore into ingots and upgrade any of your farm tools for you. Nice. I will definitely be coming back to you at some point. Natalia. Okay, now... Let's see. Oh, bakery! 
Oh, this was good. <gasps> Donuts! Oh, the cake! And the rainbow cake. Very nice. Hi! Yes, I am that Angus. The what? Oh, I could tell you were wondering if you recognized me. I don't. I indeed the Angus who was on an episode of Baking, Baking Battles. Battles. Okay. Always nice to meet a fan. Oh, yes, I thought that was you. What with this being a, a bakery and all. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's obvious. <laughs> My little claim to fame. What do you have? Oh, look at the mud. Oh, I'm so hungry now. Uh, banana bread. This guy makes stuff that I like. Recipes with bakers. Sell more to unlock. Oh, baklava. Blueberry tart. Danish. So I can actually make, unlock more recipes for him as well. Interesting. I mean, I can't afford any of these right now, but uh, I will definitely be back here. Also, I want one of those pretzels. Uh, I want one of those buns. I will take one of each variety of donut and cupcake, please. Uh, and that rainbow cake for everybody. Thank you, bye. Put it on my tab. Okay, so that's the mayor's office. This is, oh, it's a flower shop. Oh, that's where you're working. All right, this is pretty. Got the different colored flowers. Nice arrangements. Especially like the one at the back, the blue one. I'm a sucker for anything blue. Okay, so flower shop. What day is the flower shop open? Wait, eh. Let me have a look. Uh, closed Monday. Everything's closed on a Monday in this place. That's interesting. Oh, this is the school. Hi, uh, I'm just going to interrupt everybody. You don't need to learn today. It's fine. Hello. Are you my mom's new friend? Depends. Who's your mom? Nina. Then yes. Nice to meet you. I'm Tara. Nice to meet you too. I'm Finn. Good name. Very nice name. I like that one. I'm just going to meet all the kids now. <laughs> Sorry for interrupting hey, class. I'm here. <laughs> I'm Sebastian. Who are you? I'm Tara. I just moved here to help out my grandma Hazel. Do you know her? Oh yeah. Hazel's cool. Like, for a grown-up. Uh, I'll see you around. <laughs> <laughs> it's so awkward. You're a stranger. Yep. <laughs> yes, I am. I, I just moved here. I'm Tara. What's your name? Emmy. Well, now we're not Also a very nice party. name. Interesting spelling as well. Hey, so my mom says your grandma's sick, and that's why you came here. Wait, yeah, grandma's sick? came back to take care of her. That's nice. Did I miss that? I Nona in Italy when she got sick too. Oh, I didn't miss that. Well... Technically, she was my dad's. I mean, clearly, I did. I'm sure she was really happy to see you. I don't really know. I don't speak Italian, so I didn't know what anybody said. At least you and Hazel speak the same language. That's a good point. Okay, I, I like her. I like Juliet. She's cute. I like the little strip of hair, the uh, color in her hair. It's nice. Okay. Who else haven't we met? Because this. Oh, hello. <laughs> we haven't definitely haven't met you yet. Hi. I'm Tara. I just moved to town. You look just like I pictured. Uh, what? I'm sorry, what? Oh, uh, <laughs> being Hazel's granddaughter, I mean. Oh, right, okay. And you are? Been many things, but if it's a name you're looking for, folks here call me Shelby. Shelby. You do? <laughs> Hi, Shelby. You look, I don't know, you look like an old sailor, but also you've got the hat of uh, an old musician. Like you've got a barbershop quartet or something like that. You, I mean, you seem quite nice though. Like everyone here seems quite nice. Mayor, eh, not so much. But that's not unusual. Okay, so you're a woodshop owner. Actually, did I technically meet you? I did, okay, good, all right. Sorry, Parker, I will be back. Uh, okay, let's watch up here. Fairhaven Woods. Oh, that's where the, the, the magic thing was. They were trying to go through like a portal or a gate. Very interesting. It's more fish. More mushrooms. And there's the gate. Now, what does that lead to? Let's have a look. 
Can we see through to the other side? Sort of. Oh, there's some nice looking flowers up there. You can kind of see them in the top corner. That's clearly some sort of fancy hidden place. Oh, the clouds moved. That's cute. All right, well, there is a house here. Let's see if there's anyone home. Can I grab that mushroom? I can. I'm going to take that. Oh, it's a toadstool. Uh, yep, that makes sense. That is definitely a toadstool. You're right. Hi. Excuse me. I'm just going to come in. Oh, I can't come in. The door's closed. Okay, no one's home. Never mind. Can I take your axe? No, I cannot. So who lives here? Dimitar residence. Oh, Shelby lives here. Okay, yep. All right. The water is really nice too. Nice and calming. It's a cricket! Can't pick it up though. Keep finding new things in the random place, another one. Right, I suppose I should head back to the village then. So there's a few more people to meet. Maybe I can go. Is there anything down here? Oh, what's that? Mandrake. Okay. Is anyone over here? No. Okay. Heading back. I just like the simplicity of the design. This is nice and simple and colorful. It does a very good job of giving off that sort of magical vibe to it. Clearly that's a part of the story. Now that I've seen Grandma with a wand of all things. But it's cute. I can see myself playing a lot of hours of this. And I am more than happy to. Hello, Doctor. And who is this beautiful creature I see? Oh, hello. I, uh, Whoa, okay. What, uh, Why is everyone trying to hit on me? Tara, <laughs> told me her granddaughter was coming to town but didn't mention that she was so lovely i'm flattered Thanks. thank you very much <laughs> i'm amira the doctor here in fairhaven i've been taking care of your grandmother oh wow thank you i came as soon as i heard she was sick she's lucky to have such a caring family well i mean to be honest we kind of fell out of touch for a while i'm trying to make up for lost time you can't regain lost time but you're here for her now. Uh, that is true. You cannot... You cannot make up... Well... I mean, it is true, because you can't. Because, you know, it's... Time is one of those things where it's just... Very hard to get back. But the time that you've got... You make the use of that. You make the most of whatever time you are left to give them. Uh, left to give them? Left to give them. I speak English good, yeah? Okay. Well, hold on, are you, where are you headed? I, I was, I wanted to get some ice cream. <gasps> you closed the store on me. No, I wanted to get ice cream. Fine, I'll just talk to you then. Hi. Hello. I Hello. I have seen you before. I run Cafe Moretti, the diner in town. Stop by any time. I just oh, did. Hi. Yeah, I'm, I'm new You here. literally closed the store on me. Hazel's granddaughter. Welcome. Thank you. I hope you come by soon. Moving always works up an appetite. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Sophia. Sophia, hey, Sophia. okay. I'm Tara. It's nice to meet you. Sophia as, uh... I mean, I'm sure she didn't mean to close the store on me, but still. Everything's closing because it's 5 o'clock. Well, it's going to be 6 o'clock. There's the baker. Oh, that means the nightclub is nearly open. Oh, look, there's the other guy. Hold on. Excuse me, sir. I would like to introduce myself. Oh, no. <laughs> Never mind. I got sucked into a cutscene. This is the Ocean View countryside. Oh, it's like a resort area. This is the kind of place I'd like to go. Oh, there's an old lighthouse. Which has definitely seen better days. <gasps> Apples. Oranges. Lemons. Oh, he's gone. That's a shame. I'll get that shell. That's my consolation prize. So is anyone over here or is it all... <gasps> Crab! Look at him go. 
Go, little boy. Go, little buddy. Not quite as cute as the cat, but still, crab. Also, it's a grey crab, which is interesting. What's that? Oh, that's another shell. Hello. Seaweed! I'm sure I'll make something out of that. Fish? Oh, it's like little dust particles in the air. <gasps> Bananas! Yes, please. Alright, let's go up here. Oh, look at this place. Look at all of these. This is what my farm will soon become. Carrots. There's potatoes. Wheat. All those different kinds of fruit. Some kind of... What was this? Maybe they wine from that, maybe? I can't go in there, so I won't. But uh, you have a very, very nice farm person who I will not interrupt. Who's living here? Oh, Thomas's farm. Okay. Maybe that's the guy I was accidentally missed from the walking into the cutscene. What are you doing out here late at night? Do you always hang out here? Also, don't you have a bar to look after? Oh! Hey, dude! Hey, bro! Hey, bro. hey but, uh... I'm not a bro. He's definitely not a bro. I run a kiosk in the town square. It's like a pop-up shop. Oh. Oh, dude. You have to see it to believe it. Okay. I only sell the most killer stuff I find off island. Come by and check it out. But, like I say, if you fall in love with something, you better get it. The merchandise is just whatever feels right in the moment. You know? Okay. All right, noted. Why are you just exercising in the middle of nowhere next to a broken down lighthouse is my question. I have two more people to meet, but it is getting a little late. I might have to sleep on a crab. I might have to sleep on it. That's okay. All right, let's head back. Can you... That's where I am now. Okay. As I suspected, there is no fast travel, but that is fine. I don't mind that, because there is a pathway up this way. So I don't have to go all the way back around. Here we go. I have returned... What? What is that? I picked up a weed! Grandma, I know you were making mushroom soup, uh, but just so you know, I do have some weeds and some bananas on me. Um, oh, you're asleep. Okay. All right. That's awkward. Let's go to sleep as well. Uh, should I go to bed? Yes. I'm just gonna... <laughs> Must buy pajamas. Okay. Top of the morning to you. Oh, Grandpa, what are you doing? Uh, oh, you sneeze! Uh, oh, no. Huh. Are your allergies acting up? Oh, no, it's all the dust in the front room. But sweeping makes my back ache, so I've turned a blind eye for, for months now. But that's exactly what I'm here to help with, Grandma. Exactly. Then would you mind showing those dust bunnies the front door? Are they actual There's dust bunnies? In my room you can use. You wait out here. Those dust bunnies have no idea what's coming for them. <laughs> I've never known someone to be so excited for dusting. <laughs> I'll have to move this rug to make real headway. What's Grandma doing? Oh, hello. Is that an actual trap door? What? Jeez, Grandma. What are you keeping down there? This game suddenly took a twist. So, the trap door under the rug... Hmm? What is it for? Don't play games with me, Grandma. Old machinery. I'm on to you. Honeybee, will you be out and about tonight? Probably, but I... Could you fetch <laughs> me some moonflower? She's completely ignoring it. ...after sunset. You'll know it by the white blossoms. See, my moonflower tea blend makes me feel so healthy. 
I get a blush on these old cheeks. Go right past Parker's workshop into the woods and you'll find what you need. I feel like I'm getting redirected here. Yep. <laughs> it's hard to hear certain things. Uh -huh. Did you put the rug back in place? Yes, Grandma, but... Uh... Proving? He proving moonshine? <laughs> <laughs> I can already taste that. No, nope, she's completely blanking me. <laughs> yeah. Wow, okay. So I need to pick up a moonflower. Alright, well let's do that. Let me just water this. Can I plant anything else in this other area? Hold on. Oh, I don't have any seeds, okay. I can buy more seeds if I want to. I might do that on my way through. Also, I need to find the last two people. I know one of them. Uh, because I nearly got to him, but he disappeared. Yeah, well, everyone says she's going to school. Who owns the diamond shop? That's what I want to know. Is that open today? Oh, Francis owns that. Okay, well, I've already met Francis, so that's all right. What's this? Bulletins. I need toadstools. Why not your business? <laughs> Alright. So I can give things to other people. Who has extra wood? I wouldn't mind building a fire by the lake some evening. Okay. Uh, a, f a fine first lady has the vision for beautifying the landscaping around town. Does anyone have good potting soil? Uh, and Amira wants... Oh, it's great for nausea. Okay, so the doctor wants bananas to soothe nausea. Is that an actual thing? Do bananas actually cure nausea? And if so, I should probably eat more bananas. Not such a bad idea. All right, let's go and find this uh, flower, which is over this way. Oh, wait, no, it, it goes in the evening, doesn't it? All right, I have to come back. I have to come back. It's not quite ready yet. Let's see if that... Um, because I know one person I haven't met yet is down here. If that is open, it's to the right here. No, it's not open yet. Closed on Wednesdays. Cameron, where are you? I must find you, Cameron. We need to be friends, Cameron. Nice music. Okay. No distractions. Must find Cameron. Uh, I can. Oh, I don't have enough to buy seeds. Oh, okay, you're the butcher. Yeah, I have met you. You're also cute. Um, I haven't been down here yet. Maybe there's someone down this way. Oh no, it's not. It's just gonna lead me back this way. Oh, never mind. There is the boats down here, though, isn't there? Yeah, that's the old man. Anyone else over this way? No. Is that a thing? Oh, it is a thing. Ferry to milk water. Okay. So you can actually go offshore. Interesting. Oh, he's got his own little house. Oh, his, his own little work thing. That's cool. Hello. Your grandma was always good luck on a boat back in the day. She had a heron's eye for spotting fish. <laughs> heron's eye for spotting How can fish. You see fish if they're underwater. <laughs> she hasn't taught you much, has she? Uh, um, potatoes. potatoes. Here, take this rod. Keep your eyes <gasps> yes. Whenever you're near Fishing water, rod. The shadows are swimming fish. All right. See them near the surface like that. You know they're feeding. Trick is to get one of them to nibble on your hook instead of the bait fish they're chasing. How do I do that? You'll need some bait. Here are some worms. Hey, you're not the squeamish type, are you? No, you I'm fine. You bait and cast your line. You'll feel three worms, one, and then you reel it in. Wait, 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 back up. How do I cast my line? You'll get the hang of it. The lake in the forest is a nice place to start, uh, but take care. You hear? Okay. Don't go in those woods after sunset. I've seen things. Well, Whoa! You wouldn't believe me. All right. My boy Otto didn't either till he saw it for himself. Just stay safe and come back and see me after you've given it a few tries. Okay. Thank you, Bruno. I, I appreciate the fishing rod. 
I will go and use that in the very place you told me not to because story. <laughs> now, so I'm still waiting for two people. Is it two people? Uh, hold on. Yeah. You know what? I need a hint. Use your map to visit areas you haven't been to yet. Okay, well, that wasn't that much of a hint, but I, I, I respect it because that is true. I just don't know how, where have I not been? Um, oh, I haven't been up the top left. I suppose I could go that way. I've got time. Let's have a look. I, I have so much respect for that mayor for having that flag. I just hope he's not using it for the wrong reasons. And for the right reasons. It's always a good thing to use it for the right reasons. All right, let's see if I can go fishing. Let's use a worm. Huh? Is it just gonna do it automatically for me or am I gonna have to press a key? Reel it in. Oh, I have to press down the mouse button. I'm reeling it in. Oh, I got him. It's a fish. A stud fish. A ray fin fish found at the farm. Common. Sell it to Bruno or cook with it. Gross. <laughs> All right, I got one fish. <laughs> uh, what's this? Thistle. Okay. Oh, I can't go over here yet. Danger. This bridge has been declared unfit for use. The path to the mountain is off limits. Okay, so I can't go to the mountains yet. So that means there isn't anyone up there. That's a shame. That's another mystery for another day. More likely it won't be in this demo, but that's okay. That's just one of many reasons to come back to this when the full game is available on PC and switch later in the year. I am very good at selling things. Someone sponsor me so I can sell your merch. Steel Series, I know you're out there. I love you. Okay. Uh, there's no one over this way. There is. That's the jewelry guy. You know that one. It's the mayor. Where is Cameron when he's not at home? That's what I want to know. Where did he go? <gasps> there he is! Hey, buddy! You kind of look like me, but I am not. Messenger Cameron Connor. Hey! As one newcomer to another, please let me know if there's anything I could do to help. That was short but sweet. Thank you, Cameron. Alright, there's just one person left that I haven't met. But I haven't seen someone. Wait, have I talked? Oh yeah, no, you're um. Yeah, you're 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 the yeah. I have met you. I've met everyone else that I've seen so far. Is <laughs> just having out in the diner. That's very uh, home and away. My mom would appreciate that. All right, it's getting close to evening. Is there anyone in the? I know this is weird, but is there a person in the graveyard? No? Okay, cool. That's kind of upsetting to have a graveyard. But I, I respect it too, because that's what you want. Oh, I can go in here. Can I go all the way in? No, okay, never mind. All right, let's go back this way. And we will head to hold on, up the stairs. Have I met all of Yes, I have met all of you. Hi. Evening. But this is where I need to be. So somewhere around here, there's going to be a flower. But the woods at night pick a moonflower. So I've got to wait till the night time. And wait for a flower to bloom. 
I'm going to say it's relatively obvious when it shows up. Oh, hey. I'm guessing this is where you live as well. Your style is amazing, by the way. I am very appreciative of your style. I wish I could draw uh, could wear clothes like that. Definitely cannot. What's hmm. this? There's a plaque that reads, This beloved tree, be old as the town itself. Oh. I mean, it certainly looks like it's been there for a long time. It kind of looks like a tree of life. Getting of a similar vibe. Okay, here we go. So, sun setting. Night time is kicking in. Where? Oh, is that it? Oh, I got it. Moonflower. Uh, hello? Oh, hello. Who's there? Oh my god. I probably shouldn't spy on strange people creepily creeping through the woods at night. A good call, yep. Uh, so these are the Power Rangers. Book. Come along, Elder Hazel. Don't rush me, I'm coming. Grandma? What are you doing? Where are you going? Where did she go? She shouldn't be out here at night. Why are you one of the rangers? Oh, look at the masks. Come to the circle without your robe and mask. This is an unacceptable risk. Ah, it's time for us to come out of hiding. The town won't be afraid of witches if they know that we're their neighbors. People see nice until the day comes when they need a scapegoat for their troubles. Then people become mobs. Well, I didn't bring Tara here <laughs> so she could skulk around like she's doing something wrong just by being who she is so you think you uh wise words she has the gift when will she be ready to join us join them you hear something uh oh run wait until grandma returns to ask her about the forest okay wait are they still there they are look you can see the, the little cauldron all right grandma is a witch I mean, ordinarily I'd be concerned, but I mean, it's grandma. I mean, she's not evil. <gasps> Cat! Damn it. All right. She's definitely not the evil kind of witch. I don't think any of them are. They just seem to be very... Maybe scared of coming out? Which, when you think about it, very highly reflective of modern society, isn't it? You should never be scared, is what I will say. Uh, especially in my community. If you all are watching and you're in my community, everyone is respected. You are all welcome here. Did I water the potatoes, by the way? I did. Okay, good. All right. Grandma, are you home yet? Oh, she's not home yet. There's nothing else I can interact with in here. Oh. I better not just yet. Okay, all right. Fair enough. Well, I guess I'll just wait for Grandma to come home. The one she's sleeping so much, she's always out. Doing a little witchy things. Hold on. While I'm waiting. My old favorite pastime in video games. Fishing! Get the big fish. Get the big fish. Oh, she's humming. That's cute. <gasps> Big fish! Uh, oh, you got him. Oh, he's a big boy. Daughter! A speedy fish that hangs out on river bottoms found at the farm. You don't see many of these. Sell it to Bruno or cook with it. Gross! <laughs> Wait, I need to do one more. I might as well do the other fish. Hold on. One more fish. Hey! Got him. Yes. I got him. Wheel him in. Excellent. It's a minnow. Gross. It's midnight. Oh, it got really dark all of a sudden. Grandma, are you back yet? She's still not home yet. Maybe I should just go to sleep. Hold on, maybe she's back in the village still. Grandma, you're out here? Hello? 
Anyone walking around doing anything suspicious? No? I suppose not. Anyway, I should get back to bed. All right. I guess Grandma will wait for me in the morning. <gasps> hey, what are you doing out so late? You should go to sleep too. It's 1 a.m. Oh, I don't think she's here yet. No, she's not. All right, well, uh, let's... Should I go to bed? Yes. Oh. No one should ever ask, should they go to bed? If you're tired, you should go to bed. It's Thursday. That's tomorrow. Unless you're watching this on YouTube. Oh, that was a yawn. <gasps> Grandma's here. Grandma, we need some splating. Uh... Yeah, let's talk about. Give me the mushrooms later. So, uh, can we talk about the fact that I saw you with some people in masks and robes in the woods last night? Doing the spooky. Nice talk after I've had some tea. Tea? Uh, oh, yes, yeah, some tea would really hit the spot. Oh, fine. Okay, I'll give you the. I'll give you the tea. Lena brought us some extra milk while you were out, so I made us a delicious mushroom soup sure to warm our bellies. Why did you You're put it in sure a bag? A gills or whatever. We're not going to start seeing things or frothing at the mouth. Oh no, if I gave you something that made you see things, it'd be on purpose. Uh, Grandma! <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding, Hunky. Grandma! I have another chore for you that would be a great help if you don't mind okay of course grandma what is it some wood for the fire would be nice. some wood okay it's still cold in the spring around here could you go and find a couple of the big old logs lying around the farm chop them up for me and bring me the wood i would be sure. more than helpful to uh, you'll need this to get started <gasps> she gave me an axe cream of mushroom soup Mushroom soup made from grandma's recipe. A great way to top up your energy. I can also sell it to Sophia. I don't know why I'd want to sell it to Sophia. I feel like that could be very helpful. Alright, so I need some wood. Let me give you this so I can make the tea. You'll find logs lying on the ground. Could you chop some of those for me and bring me the wood? Alright, you want me to get the wood first. Okay. Okay. Well... I can chop this. Hey! Hey! Yeah! Got it. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna leave that little tree. I think. Yeah. Let's not touch the little tree. Let's go. Is there any trees up this way? Oh no, there isn't, isn't there? That's fine. Let's go off to the left here. Let's see. Ah, fallen tree. Anything fallen is better. Hey! Uh, hey, uh, You know what I like? The fact that this isn't gamey. There's none of sort of meters or you have to time it or anything like that. It's just you get in, you do what you want. No mucking around. This is nice and easy. I, I respect that and I love it. I want to do more of that, please. Journal. Uh, do I have enough wood now? I do. All right, let's go back to grammar. Grandma, I have got the wood for you. Now, please start splaining. You've got some splaining to do. Oh, that wood looks nice and dry and ready to burn. Great. Thank you for doing that for me. It was no trouble. Phew. It was hard work, though. Oh, look at you. You're plum tuckered out. <laughs> What do they teach young girls in the city these days? Uh, not using an axe, I can tell you that much. Work too hard and don't keep an eye on your energy. You're likely to pass out. But there's an easy solution. Good old-fashioned country cooking. Here's another serving of the soup I made earlier. Thank you. It'll fix you right up. I appreciate that. Don't wear yourself out. Eat something from your bag to get some energy back. Oh, I see. That's your energy meter. Right. Okay, I understand that now. All right, well, in that case, let's see. Uh, 
Uh, where's my infantry? Oh, that's just fish. Right. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's crafting. Oh. Oh, okay. So I can craft candles, uh, apple juice, olive oil, wine. So I did say we can make wine, and that is true. Cheese, paper, creamy sheet of paper. Thank you. Uh, but where's my... Oh, hold on. So, <laughs> okay, let's have a look at the resonance. Okay, so Amira. Uh, apparently, you can do a lot with Amira. Uh, Angus, Bruno, Cameron, the cat. I love how the cat is one of the residents. Damon, Emmy, Finn, Francis, Grandma, obviously. Juliet, big fan of Juliet. Kai, surfer vibes. Kim, Blacking Kim. Lena, Natalia. Mayor Otto, Parker, Sebastian, Shelby, Sophia, who closed me out for some reason, Vanessa, and there's this one person I haven't met, and then there's Violet. You know, out of all of these people, at least right now, uh, I mean, the cat's definitely one of my favorites. Uh, Violet, absolutely. Uh, I'm going to say, I, like, I kind of like Natalia. I like the fact that there's a character here that doesn't... Like, when you look at all the character designs... Like they're all unique. They all have different styles. They don't follow the, the typical norms of modern video games that all have to be like one particular style. They're not like NPCs in Cyberpunk 2077. Don't play that game. Um, but yeah, there's, there's different styles. Like Kim's cool. They all are cool. These are all people I would love to meet in real life. Especially the cat. Okay, you know, actually, it kind of looks my cat. Uh, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. I don't know where to get... How do I get my... Oh, it's in my bag. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. So these are all my materials. I've got some tools. Uh, okay, mushroom soup. Let's have some of that. It is also vegan. I'm not vegan. But I, again, I respect vegan. Um... I would have mushroom soup. I would live off mushrooms if I could. Aha! Excellent. I've got more energy now. Now, where did you go? Grandma, we still have some talking to, talk, uh, to go, so don't you go anywhere. I wish we could talk more, but... Oh. My throat is oh, the excuses. Parched. The excuses. All right, well, let's make the tea then. A bit of food is all you need when your energy is low, and then you're right as rain. And that's For true. A while, For a while. You need plenty of sleep. Even my cooking is no match for a good night's rest. But Grandma, you're the one who should be resting. Yep. I don't want you troubling yourself to cook for me. Ah, is that your way of trying to get my recipe book? <laughs> Did Sophia put you up to it? She's always trying to get a peek at my recipes, but you can tell her they stay in the family. I hide my recipe book in the stove. Uh -huh. She never thinks to look in there. <laughs> Go on, try one. Okay. Well, which one is your favorite? I am quite partial. Mushroom, to mushroom risotto. risotto. Test complete. I've been rolled with three more mushroom soups. Now I need to get some rice and mushrooms so I can make grandma's favorite dish. Okay. That still doesn't, I, 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 you need to, you need, there's still more explaining to do. But fine, I will buy some rice. And then I have mushroom. And then, hold on, do I have mushroom? Oh, I need to make the, I need to make the tea. Maybe I can just make the tea, can I do that? Also, how do I make the tea? I'm not sure. I should probably do this first, though, before I forget. Water the potatoes. Hey, Grandma, how do I make that tea for you? Let's see. Oh, there it is. Craft that, please. Thank you. Uh, coconut rice, cauliflower soup. I love that. I love the sound of that. Fish fingers, fair enough. Yes, I'm cool. Yeah, okay. I have the restorative tea. Grandma, no more excuses. I have your tea. Oh, 
lie. Oh, you make a very potent brew. <laughs> Here's that key to the basement that you asked about. Oh, wow, she's just giving it straight to me. The hooded strangers? Go on down, my dear. It will all make sense, I promise. Is this sort of like a one division thing? It's going to be like some random stuff in the basement that I'm not going to like? Is it going to be a weird magic book? What am I doing? Oh, okay, we moved the carpet. Okay, fair enough. Uh-oh. Oh, there's cobwebs. We definitely have more questions than answers now. Uh... <gasps> she has a magic pot! Not just any cauldron. Your cauldron. My cauldron? What? Oh, no, no, I'm not a... Witch? Oh, my dear, yes, you are. No lay person could make a brew like that on her first try. I feel as spry as I did 50 years ago. <laughs> this basement is your sanctum. Oh. You have your cauldron, of course. Yeah. W -w wait, is Dad a witch or, 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 or warlock or Arthur? Oh, no. Uh, He's no. more conventional. <laughs> conventional. <laughs> He was good with his hands, though. He was good with work. Uh, with wood. Good woodworker. I'm sure. Extraordinary witch. But the coven needs proof before they'll accept you. Coven? Those folks in the woods, of course. They put a charm on the bramble wall, so they ah. to open it. This is uh, kind of a lot to learn all at once. I understand. When you're ready, read this incantation before the special silver willow in the woods. Then you'll have a branch to make your first wand. Ooh, I got to make a wand. Read the incantation Grandma gave you while standing next to the silver willow tree. Was that the tree I found earlier? Hold on. Let's go find out. Oh, and in the meantime... Uh, okay, so I've got the fish. I need to get rice. I need another mushroom as well. Okay, noted. Uh, where do I get the rice? Oh, yeah, down here. Nope. Oh, stuck on the steps. Good afternoon, everybody. Oh, it's closed. When is it open? Oh, it's closed on a Thursday. Okay. All right, well, I guess we're getting the rice later then. All right. Hold on. Oh, this is open too. Okay, well, hold on. Hold on. I gotta go. I'm gonna go bathroom break. I gotta go pee pee. Give me one second. Just listen to the music for a bit. Actually, no, you can't because I'm gonna have to do this. <laughs> Be right back.
All right, we're back. Sorry about that. Okay, so um, I need to go to the eastern area to go to the tree. So, hold on. Mm -hmm. Keep those fluids up, kids. All right, let's go. Why are you going into the... Why are you going in here? Where are you? All right. All right, I'm just gonna... I'm, I'm just gonna go. Okay, that was... Awkward. Oh, I went the wrong way. Hold on. Uh, this way. Okay, that's the... Ceremonial area. That's the school. That's the woodwork area. That's gonna be interesting because it, it, it looks like you can actually go in um, and buy like pre-built things, but then also there's the option of making your own. What's that? I found a peanut! Why is there a peanut sitting on the floor? Oh boy. Um, can I see another mushroom around here? Because I need another mushroom. I don't see one. There's another peanut over here, look. Why is all these peanuts on the floor? Weird. There's no, mu oh, that, that's technically a mushroom, but, oh, I can get the one from here, I was right, okay. Here we go. Description says, if I be worthy, ancient tree, give a silver branch to me. Maybe a little more please. wood spa. Oh, she said, please. Wow. <laughs> uh, thanks, magic tree. Thank you very much, magic tree. Okay. Now I need to show grandma the wand branch uh, and see if I can find a mushroom on my way back. I don't see any. It's just weird that there's, there's, there's a toadstool, but that doesn't count. Maybe you can find peanuts on the floor, but not a mushroom. <laughs> Very unusual. Oh, this is such just a nice... It's a nice, pretty game. Oh, wait, did I talk? Oh, yeah, no, I need to talk to them. I still don't know who that last person is that I need to talk to. It's not the mayor. I think I've talked to everyone that I've seen. Yeah, there's someone else that I'm missing and I just can't figure it out. But we'll get there. All right. Grandma, you won't believe it. The tree actually gave me the wand. Yeah. Is your wand ready? Yes. Look, careful where you point that thing. Oh my, you have a lot to learn. <laughs> It's time for you to meet the coven. Oh, okay. Are you ready to go? Let's do it. Sure. Let's go. Oh, maybe it's someone in the coven. The brambles only allow friends of the coven through. So this incantation helps it to identify you. Once it meets you, it'll know you're a friend and let you through from now on. Say the spell when you're ready. Read the incantation Grandma gave you while standing next to the Ramble Gate in the woods. Okay. A friend of the coven comes to you. Unravel your brambles and let me through. Nailed it. Oh, it worked. First time. Well done. Now let's head on up. All right. Go, Grandma. Go. <laughs> Shh. You've got to be properly introduced. Oh, the masks are so good. I bring one who wishes to know the mysteries of this coven. Um, hi. Welcome, Initiate. Elder Hazel has told us so much about you. I am the High Priestess of this coven. Hi. If you can join us, you must vow to never reveal the location of our circle or the details of our rights to any others. Do you promise to abide by our covenants? I mean, the gate is quite obviously there, though. I'm 
so excited that I'm a witch. This is going to be so much fun. Uh, 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 about that, honeybee. Oh, what's You're the catch? Not, witch. not yet. Oh. First, you must cast the initiation light. Okay. Okay. Um. How do I do that? How do I? How do I do that? Speak to the farseer over yonder. The farseer. He'll explain the art of incantations. Okay. Oh, that's the end of the demo. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, there you go. You've reached the end of the Wildflowers demo. Wishlist the game on Steam. Get notified when the full version is available. We don't have a date yet. Um, but soon. But soon. There you go. So that was Wildflowers. Um, that was fun. That was fun. And it leaves... The demo leaves enough um, opportunities for, like thinking about what's going to happen in the future with it. Um, that was fun, though. I really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's... It's not a kid's game. Like, it doesn't feel like a kid's game. It very much feels like... Um, like someone... It's pretty much anyone can pick up and play it. It's very, very easy to play. Um... Very colorful. I love the music. The voice acting is fantastic. I do feel like there was other interactions I probably could have done within that demo if I wanted to. Um, but yeah, that was great. That was that was really fun. I really enjoyed that. So yeah, that was Wildflowers. Uh, again, uh, big thanks to uh, Studio Drydock, uh, Melbourne Studio. Uh, who provided the demo code for us. You'll be able to play this demo on Steam next week. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, you can also play this on Apple Arcade if you enjoyed any of that. By all means, follow the team, uh, Studio Dry Dock, on Twitter. Uh, I'm sure they appreciate the follow. Uh, to keep an eye on for any future updates as they come through. And then keep an eye on Steam next week for the demo. Uh, I will be probably playing this on Switch. I feel like it's a Switch game for me. So hopefully very, very soon, fingers crossed, we'll get a release date for that. Right. Well, with that done, uh, I'm going to switch over to a little game called Spirit Fair uh, in a very short while. So uh, give me a couple of minutes. Uh, I'm just going to go into uh, my little b right back screen, and I'm going to switch over to Spirit Fair, and then we'll continue on from there. So be right back. Hold on, let me just press the little button. Hi! Uh -huh.